Welcome back, guys, to Kerbal Space Explosion. The Dressacular is currently in orbit over ELO. Or rather, let me correct that. We are not in orbit. We are on a collision course. We need to start burning retrograde right now so that we don't uh, crash into the surface. We took this ship, which started off extremely large. I think it's my biggest ship to date. I think it had more than a thousand parts or around a thousand parts originally. And then we had this huge crazy lander after we got into orbit. And uh, we, we've done a lot. We went all the way to Drace and we landed on Drace or Dress, Drace, whatever. Took off from there. We left Dundred Kerman in orbit around Drace. Uh, he did a little flyby of a big canyon and decided to just keep going. And then Buzz and Hud Hat Kerman decided to take a trip out here to Elo with our large amount of remaining fuel. Only problem with this lander design slash interplanetary ship design is that we do not have a lot of, we don't have a lot of juice, as I like to say. Our thrust to mass ratio is quite low and we're about to lose three more engines. It's gonna get even worse, which is not good. You can see I've started burning retrograde very early because I don't wanna screw this up. Uh, we can't correct a mistake very rapidly with this ship. And, you know, these flickering lights are kind of distracting me. Why are they flickering like that? Can we find the source? My lights are right here. I don't know, it like thinks they're reflecting or collisioning. I don't know, running into something, I don't know. We'll just turn them off because they're distracting and unnecessary. There goes our three engines right about now, and we'll let those guys go. And we just lost even more juice. We are slow as molasses. What are we to do? Let's go and put the legs down. But I think uh, we're still high enough up that we started burning soon enough. I would like to come down as straight as possible. So you know what? I'm just going to keep this heading right here. Right there, change that to surface. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Man, should have changed that before. That that orbital reading can be very, uh, very um, deceiving there. Let's see, what is this doing? We're past that. Is this getting farther apart? No, we should be narrowing this. We'll go ahead and burn this way a little bit. We're almost coming straight down, kind of, but not really. I would like to become—I would like to come down as, uh, as vertically as possible because this <laughs> this is an extremely top-heavy lander, and for whatever reason, the surface of Elo is—it looks like it's not loading in. It looks like low resolution or something. Okay, let's go ahead and stop. I think. I think it was getting farther apart because I burned past the uh, periapsis. Let's just go ahead and bring this down. And you can see, look how slowly my speed is diminishing here. So that is not good. We can't even throttle up to full because our engines are going to overheat. So I'm going to have to basically burn all the way down until the landing and try not to crash. If we can land this thing successfully, that will be fantastic. And I, I must remember to put the uh, RCS on to help once we get very low. All right, we are getting close now and my speed still hasn't quite dropped down to nothing. I think we're gonna slow down enough though. I think I just managed to turn those engines on in time. Buzz and Hud Hat, quit smiling so much, you're distracting me. Uh, let's see, we need to find a speed right about there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the speed will slowly diminish as we continue to descend. And then right as we get to the bottom, let's turn RCS on actually. Right as we get to the bottom, let's throttle down just slightly. There we go. Good. Speed is still diminishing. And then right here, boink! Okay, tilt over, no, no, this way, this way, this way. RCS, do your work. 
Yes, yes, yes! Haha! -ha. Ooh, look at that shadow. No, stop! Oh gosh. Okay. Oh man. Turn those off. <laughs> stop doing that. Just sit still. Look at that lander. That is a precarious lander. Um, I have to alert you to the fact that my heart is beating rather fast right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but they had fun. Okay, we're on the surface now. We can finally use our last mystery goo. Mystery goo. Observation from ELO surface. You observe the goo. Well, that's, that's a well-written bit of flavor text there. Materials Bay. Science Junior. Some of the fine crystals lining ELO enter the Materials Bay. It appears that some of the samples have become more conductive in the extreme cold. 375, yes! <laughs> Wow, 375, I'll take it. All right, and then let's do gravioli. Log gravioli detective, or data, whatever. Gravity scans are very clear here. There appears to be little influence from other bodies. All right, recovery, and then let's do a seismic data. 300 for that, awesome. Gonna get so much science. I was blinded by science. Review report. Uh, no, no. Keep that. Um, what did I just do? Oh, okay. So, crew report. That's what I want to see. It only lets you have one crew report, crew report of any type in the ship at any one time. All right. Cool. Let's get HUD hat and buzz out. EVA, buddy. Space. Nope. Get up. And do an EVA report in space near ELO. Keep it, 95. All right, and then grab a surface sample. 450. You find some brown soil underneath the icy surface. 450, awesome. Keep data, all right. Then we'll switch to you. Let's see. Uh, we're not using anything. Okay, we can just leave this as is. Okay, Buzz Gurman, second out of the pod. Get on out of there. Let go. And fly around to the service. So Hut Hat there, uh, he took, whoa, buddy. He took a EVA report in the air above the service. You're gonna take the one on the service, EVA report. Okay, no flavor text, but EVA report from ELO surface. Keep that data. There we are, look how far we are from the sun. Look how small it is. And our lander, well, it's still gigantic, uh, but it's gotten a little bit uh, narrower at the waist. It's been on a, it's gone on a diet. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, fly around and transfer the sciencey stuff back into the pod right there. And then we'll do a little bit of exploration in this area. All right, so all of that science has been stored in the command pod. We have 20 pieces of stored data. Should be worth quite a bit by the time we get back. We may even be able to finish off the tech tree. Uh, maybe not, but we'll be able to finish off a lot of it. Look at this, 240, 56, 70. Oh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's start over. Let's hit the keep data, otherwise just gonna keep going through. 175, 56, 70, 160, 140, 240, 56, 80, 200, 160, 64, 96, 300, 300, 150, 375, 120, 450, yeah, 96, 240. That's a lot of science. I could even squeeze out a little more out of the deal, but I don't really feel the need to at this point. We still have a lot of places we could go for science. There's far more science in the system than there is uh, available tech tree places to spend it on. Okay, buddy, uh, hit space bar to let go. Turn on your jetpack. So, this is uh, Buzz, and I would very much like to keep Buzz. I don't want to lose him. But I would like to go exploring a little bit. We're not going to try to get him into orbit, because if I do, there's no way we're going to be able to pick him up. We could try to match his orbit with this ship. Pick him up, and then return home. That sounds like fun. <laughs> okay, but if we do that, which direction do I need to point in? We need to go as east as possible. 
wow, am I really gonna do this? Let me let me check some things out before we go too crazy. So I managed to get the other guy. Uh, I don't even remember his name. I've forgotten him already. But I managed to get him into orbit around Dress without Drace. I'm gonna say Drace around Drace without too much problem. It has a gravity of 0.115, and it has a radius of 138 kilometers. So if ELO is less than that, we can definitely do it. Uh, and don't forget, he had some fuel left over, which we'll want to keep some for Buzz in order for him to get back on the ship. 0.115 and 138, okay? Back at ELO. Ooh, okay, so the gravity is about 50% higher and the diameter is similarly larger hmm I don't know that could be tricky that could definitely be tricky you know what Buzz you're an adventurous sort I think I think we can do it now I want to make sure we're pointing the right way so I'm gonna switch back to here um now, how do I know which way is 90? I'm not really even sure about that from looking at this. I was sort of hoping that I could orient the ship, but without getting out and flying... Let's see, how about if I turn on SAS and RCS? If I tip to the right... Okay, so that is trying to tip that way, right? It's trying to go that way towards 45. So that means 90 is like there. Okay, so we're gonna aim for that way. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna guess that that's right. Um, kind of in this direction, and once I get going, <laughs> Buzz, man, I was so lucky to get Buzz, and I'm going to, oh, we need to plant a flag before I do this. To almost forgot, let's plant the flag before we risk Buzz's, uh, Buzz's uh, life and limb or all four limbs for a silly experiment. A little bit of fun. Okay, site name. Uh, we're on Elo. Elo? Elu. How's it spelled? Um, where can I see that without a cancel? What is this place called? Elu. Okay. Oh, okay, let's see. Can we edit this now? Read plaque. Oh, okay, take down. Put another one down. Whoa, can he not? Plant flag. Just wanted to make sure there weren't any typos on my flag here. Okay, and we're gonna call it Elu Dressacular. So I remember that we landed here um, with the ship intended for another planet entirely, which we also went to. Okay, so there's that. Okay, Buzz, uh, you're gonna be going this way. Are you prepared? The gravity's higher. No, uh, okay, that's not a very good start. Gravity, come on, man. Okay, I don't have as as high a hope for you as I did before. Uh, going forward is more important than going high. And I don't wanna move left to right to look at the scenery. I want to make sure we're going as straight as possible so that we uh, get the most bang for our buck. So I'm just going to keep that right there. And after we've gone to about uh, th down to three uh, propellant left, EVA propellant, I will check to see our progress on the map screen. If we can catch up to him and like rendezvous and then get him back on the ship, that'd be awesome. And we want him to save just a little bit of propellant so that once we get close, he can maneuver. Otherwise, it would be a waste. Okay, let's check. Oh, we're, we're quite zoomed out. Zoom in. Ooh, that's a very, that's a very small arc. Let's see, how much time do we have left? We're gonna hit that in 45 seconds. Okay, I don't think we can do it. Uh, abort, abort, <laughs> reverse, reverse. First thing we need to do is, we're not very high, so our arc isn't that high, but we need to slow down. 
So let's just look like this. And if we can slow this down, then we can spend the rest of our propellant <laughs> to raise ourselves. Yeah, I don't think this would have worked. Um, I think the, the change in gravity was too much. Slow down. Oh my gosh. At least if, if all he does is some break dancing and we have to walk back to the ship, that's fine. Slow down. Oh God. Buzz. I'm so sorry. Buzz. I don't want to lose Buzz. No, Buzz. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> it's fine. He didn't exp... Oh gosh. Yeah, I think he'll be all right. Uh, the gravity here is higher than Midmus, so when I went cascading and breakdancing across Midmus, uh, he cascaded a long way, and we were also going downhill, I seem to remember. So he should slow down within a reasonable amount of time. I really don't think we would have been able to make it. And we would have probably, at the point, if we had used all our propellant to try to do that, we probably would have uh, been going so fast we would have died, which would not have been good. We will try that maneuver again at another time. I mean, we will have to rescue Dundred at some point, right? All right, get up, Buzz. That was, you're, he's a, Buzz is a test pilot. This is the kind of thing he lives for, right? All right, so fly back, fly back, but be a little bit more conservative this time. We, we used most of our propellant getting here, so we're gonna have to do some walking off camera, uh, which I guess is no big deal. So tell you what, I'm gonna, Fly back to the ship, and then we'll see what other hijinks we can get into. All right, back in the pod with you, Buzzy. Get in there, buddy. All right, well, we've done quite a bit with this mission. I, I'm extremely tempted to try to land somewhere else with the amount of fuel we have left. All of these six engines have fuel in them. Three of them are at about two-thirds full. And then we have this tank in the middle. Don't forget that. But, uh, I don't know. We've been flying around with this guy for a while, and we still have to go all the way back. All the way back to Gerben, all the way there. Uh, so I think we'll just be a little bit conservative, and we will head back now. And uh, see if we can make it back, how much science we get, and fill out the tech tree with as much uh, with as much as we can with the science we get. But we're going to do that next time. <laughs> we will resume, and this will be the, the next episode, I guess, will be the conclusion of uh, the Dresstacular, the ship that has gone so many places, flown so far, been a wild success. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you later. Take it easy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.